Pompeii, a city frozen in time, stood as a testament to the grandeur and magnificence of the Roman Empire. Nestled near the modern-day city of Naples, this ancient metropolis was a thriving hub of culture, trade, and opulence. In the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii flourished as a bustling city where the echoes of history still resonate today. At the height of its power, the Roman Empire encompassed vast territories, stretching from northern and southern Europe to parts of North Africa and the Middle East. However, it was Rome, the empire's capital, that served as the heart and soul of this expansive realm. Pompeii, located just 140 miles 225 kilometers, from Rome, played a crucial role as one of the favored destinations for the wealthy citizens seeking respite from the scorching Roman summers. Within the bounds of Pompeii, a microcosm of Roman society thrived. Its streets teemed with merchants, artists, and craftsmen, while its buildings and monuments stood as testaments to the city's affluence. The city was home to an estimated population of 10,000 to 20,000 residents, a vibrant community that included both permanent residents and seasonal visitors who owned luxurious villas and summer homes. Pompeii's cultural importance cannot be understated. The city boasted a rich tapestry of art, literature, and intellectual pursuits. Its theaters echoed with the sound of applause, while its temples reverberated with prayers and rituals. The citizens of Pompeii indulged in a leisurely lifestyle, relishing in the finer things that life had to offer. The wealthy elite, like Marcus Valerius, reveled in lavish banquets, attended gladiatorial spectacles, and immersed themselves in the arts. Economically, Pompeii thrived as a center for commerce and trade. Its strategic location, situated near the Bay of Naples, granted it easy access to both the Mediterranean Sea and the bustling trade routes that crisscrossed the Roman Empire. The city's bustling marketplaces buzzed with activity, offering a dizzying array of goods from across the empire, from spices and silk to exotic animals and precious metals. Socially, Pompeii was a melting pot of diverse cultures and backgrounds. Its residents hailed from all walks of life, with a distinct stratification that mirrored the broader Roman society. The wealthy and influential elites occupied the upper echelons, basking in luxury and privilege. Slaves and servants toiled in the service of their masters, while the middle class pursued their trades and professions with vigor. This intricate social fabric contributed to the vibrant tapestry that defined Pompeii. Marcus Valerius, a prominent figure among Pompeii's aristocracy, epitomized the indulgent lifestyle of the city's elite. A man of wealth and influence, Marcus commanded respect and admiration. He resided in a lavish villa adorned with frescoes and intricate mosaics, a testament to his opulent status. He reveled in the company of other affluent individuals, hosting extravagant parties that showcased the abundance and excesses of Pompeian life. In the midst of this splendor, Marcus Valerius and his fellow citizens were blissfully unaware of the impending disaster that would forever alter the course of their lives. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE would bury their beloved city in a deadly embrace, preserving it for centuries to come and etching their legacy into the annals of history. As we delve deeper into the catacombs of Pompeii, let us walk in the footsteps of those who once reveled in its splendor. Let us explore the cultural, economic, and social tapestry that defined this ancient city. And let us unravel the stories hidden beneath the layers of volcanic ash, as we discover the tragic fate of Marcus Valerius and the inhabitants of Pompeii. The year was 79 CE, 
and life in Pompeii continued its usual rhythm. The sun bathed the city in golden rays, casting long shadows over the cobblestone streets. But beneath this serene surface, a force of nature was stirring, a sleeping giant preparing to unleash its fury upon an unsuspecting population. Mount Vesuvius, a seemingly benign presence overlooking the city, had shown signs of restlessness in the days leading up to the cataclysmic events that would forever alter the course of Pompeii's history. The once dormant volcano had rumbled with an unsettling energy, sending tremors through the earth and filling the air with an eerie foreboding. Pompeii's inhabitants, attuned to the rhythms of nature, were not oblivious to the signs. Whispers of unease spread throughout the city like a shiver in the wind. People exchanged anxious glances, their conversations tinged with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. The streets buzzed with speculation as citizens gathered in small groups, discussing the ominous portents and their implications. On the fateful day of the eruption, the city awakened to a world in chaos. The first puffs of smoke billowed from the summit of Mount Vesuvius, painting the sky with an ashen hue. The ground trembled beneath the citizens' feet, intensifying their growing unease. The air crackled with tension as panic gripped the hearts of Pompeii's residents. As the morning unfolded, the once distant rumblings grew louder and more menacing. A pillar of smoke soared into the sky, darkening the sun and casting an ominous shadow over the city. The ground shook violently, toppling fragile objects and rattling the very foundations of Pompeii's buildings. In the face of this mounting catastrophe, the citizens of Pompeii grappled with a mix of fear, confusion, and disbelief. Some, instinctively sensing the imminent danger, scrambled to gather their belongings and flee the city. Others, anchored by a mix of curiosity, attachment to their homes, or a fatalistic resignation, chose to stay behind, hoping for a swift resolution to the unfolding disaster. The eruption intensified with breathtaking speed. The once distant smoke transformed into a raging column of ash and debris, ascending higher and higher into the sky. The heavens rained down a barrage of volcanic material upon Pompeii, a merciless assault that buried the city under a thick blanket of darkness and despair. Amidst this chaos, the citizens of Pompeii were confronted with an unimaginable spectacle. Pyroclastic flows, deadly torrents of superheated gas and volcanic debris, thundered down the slopes of Mount Vesuvius at a ferocious pace. These merciless currents consumed everything in their path, leaving no chance for escape. Within moments, lives were extinguished, hopes were shattered, and the city was transformed into a burial ground. The once vibrant streets of Pompeii were now shrouded in a suffocating silence, broken only by the agonized cries of the wounded and the mourning of the bereaved. The air, once fragrant with the aromas of Pompeii's bustling markets, now carried the acrid stench of destruction. The once grand buildings and monuments stood as silent witnesses to the catastrophic power of nature. In the face of this devastation, the survivors grappled with profound grief and disbelief. They wandered through the desolate streets, their eyes filled with tears, searching for loved ones and seeking solace in the ruins of their former lives. The magnitude of the disaster was incomprehensible, and the road to recovery seemed insurmountable. As we stand on the precipice of Pompeii's tragedy, we bear witness to the harrowing experiences of its citizens. We join them in their struggle for survival and mourn the loss of a once thriving city. And through their stories, we gain a deeper understanding of the cataclysmic power of Mount Vesuvius and the indomitable spirit of those who endured its wrath.
As the eruption of Mount Vesuvius continued to unleash its fury upon Pompeii, the once-thriving city descended into a maelstrom of chaos and panic. The streets, once bustling with activity, now resembled a frenzied maze of desperate souls seeking an escape from the impending disaster. The first instinct of many was to flee, to seek refuge outside the city's boundaries. Families hurriedly gathered their most cherished possessions, clutching them tightly as they joined the masses on the treacherous path to safety. Mothers clutched their children's hands, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and determination. Fathers shouldered the weight of their responsibilities, leading their loved ones through the teeming crowds. The roads leading away from Pompeii became crowded with a sea of humanity, each person driven by a singular desire, survival. The atmosphere was thick with the smell of fear, as the echoes of screams and cries for help reverberated through the air. Amidst the chaos, acts of heroism and selflessness emerged, as strangers offered assistance to the weak and the injured, their compassion shining through the darkness. Yet, not everyone chose to abandon their homes and their lives in Pompeii. Some, bound by a deep-rooted attachment to their city or the hope of protecting their properties, made the difficult decision to stay behind. These brave souls braced themselves for the uncertainties that lay ahead, their determination outweighing the mounting danger. For those who remained, the risks were immense. The ash and pumice continued to rain down upon the city, obscuring visibility, and making each step treacherous. The streets became rivers of debris, hindering progress and testing the resolve of those who refused to succumb to despair. It was a race against time, with the relentless advance of the volcanic onslaught. As the hours turned into days, the tension in Pompeii escalated. The once menacing rumblings of the volcano were now accompanied by the ominous roar of pyroclastic flows, deadly currents of scorching gas and ash hurtling down the slopes of Mount Vesuvius. The air became saturated with toxic fumes, choking the breath of those unfortunate enough to be caught in their path. The pyroclastic flows, with their unimaginable speed and ferocity, left no chance for escape. They devoured everything in their wake, erasing the familiar landmarks of Pompeii and replacing them with an apocalyptic landscape. The encroaching darkness and suffocating heat signaled the imminent demise of the city. In the face of this overwhelming peril, the inhabitants of Pompeii clung to hope and fought for their survival. They sought shelter wherever they could, huddling together in small groups, seeking solace and protection from the relentless onslaught. Some found temporary refuge in the city's temples, praying for divine intervention amidst the chaos. But for many, the struggle was in vain. The weight of the ash and pumice became too great, collapsing roofs and walls, burying those trapped beneath in a tomb of despair. Their anguished cries were silenced, lost amidst the roar of the volcano's fury. As the catastrophe unfolded, the city itself seemed to pulse with anguish. The streets that once echoed with the footsteps of Pompeii's vibrant community were now haunted by an eerie silence. The homes and buildings that stood as testaments to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of its residents crumbled under the weight of destruction. In the midst of this devastation, stories of heroism and resilience emerged. The valiant efforts of those who risked their lives to save others became beacons of hope amidst the darkness. They defied the odds, providing a glimmer of humanity's capacity for compassion even in the face of unimaginable tragedy. The discovery of the two victims within the ruins of a villa on the outskirts of Pompeii sent shockwaves through the archaeological community. 
As researchers carefully unearthed the remains, a fascinating and tragic story began to unfold, offering a glimpse into the lives of those who perished during the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The excavation process was a delicate and painstaking endeavor. Each layer of ash and debris was meticulously removed, revealing the haunting outlines of two figures lying side by side. The preservation of their bodies was a result of the unique circumstances that befell Pompeii, where the volcanic ash had acted as a protective shroud, freezing them in time for almost two millennia. To ensure the preservation of the fragile remains, researchers employed innovative techniques. The hardened ash surrounding the bodies was carefully excavated, leaving behind empty spaces that mirrored the shape of the victims. In order to capture the true form and features of the individuals, liquid plaster was poured into the voids, creating casts that would serve as a permanent testament to their final moments. The process of creating these casts was both a scientific and artistic endeavor. The liquid plaster, when poured into the voids, seeped into every nook and cranny, capturing even the smallest details. The researchers had to exercise great care and precision to avoid damaging the fragile remains during the casting process. Once the plaster hardened, it became a tangible representation of the victims, frozen in time, immortalized in their final poses. As the casts were carefully extracted from the ash, they revealed the haunting silhouettes of two individuals. The first was identified as a wealthy Roman man, believed to be of noble birth. His remains were adorned with remnants of fine garments, indicating his privileged status in society. The meticulous craftsmanship of his clothing attested to the opulence and sophistication of the Roman elite. The second victim, positioned next to the wealthy man, was initially believed to be his slave due to the stark contrast in their attire. Clad in a simple tunic, the remains suggested a life of labor and servitude. The presence of these two individuals side by side raised intriguing questions about their relationship and the dynamics of social hierarchy within Pompeii. The initial hypotheses and speculations surrounding the identities of the victims sparked intense debate among researchers and historians. The discovery of a wealthy man and his presumed slave evoked images of the complex social structure of ancient Rome. It led to discussions about power dynamics, social mobility, and the intricate connections between the privileged class and those who served them. Scholars delved into historical records, seeking any hints that could shed light on the lives of these two individuals. They scoured ancient texts, examined the architecture and artifacts found in the villa, and analyzed the overall layout of Pompeii to piece together the puzzle of their identities. It became a multidisciplinary effort, combining the expertise of archaeologists, historians, and forensic scientists to unravel the mysteries concealed within the ash. As the research progressed, new theories emerged. Some suggested that the two individuals might have shared a bond that transcended the boundaries of master and slave. Perhaps they were friends, confidants, or even family members who found solace and companionship in each other's company. Others hypothesized that the slave had willingly sacrificed his own chance of escape to remain by his master's side, displaying an extraordinary act of loyalty. The identities of the victims continued to elude researchers, leaving room for speculation and further exploration. The archaeological team vowed to pursue every avenue of inquiry, meticulously analyzing the remains, artifacts, and historical context to uncover the truth behind these two tragic figures. 
The discovery of the victims in Pompeii's ruins not only brought forth a profound sense of loss but also ignited a renewed determination to understand the lives of those who perished. Their stories would serve as a testament to the devastating power of Mount Vesuvius and the fragile nature of human existence. The research would continue, driven by a desire to give a voice to the voiceless and shed light on a chapter of history that was forever sealed beneath layers of ash and time. As the excavation of Pompeii's ruins continued, the identity of one of the victims began to take shape, revealing a man named Marcus Valerius. Through painstaking research and examination of historical records, a portrait of this affluent Roman began to emerge, shedding light on his privileged position within Pompey's social hierarchy and his intricate connections to the Roman Empire. Marcus Valerius was born into a life of privilege and luxury, his family holding a prominent position within Pompey's elite circles. From an early age, he was groomed to fulfill the expectations of his noble lineage, molded into the embodiment of Roman ideals and values. As he grew older, Marcus embraced his role with a sense of duty, recognizing the responsibilities and advantages that accompanied his privileged status. Pompeii, a city at the height of its grandeur, provided an environment conducive to Marcus' flourishing. The Roman Empire had expanded its reach, and Pompeii stood as a testament to its power and opulence. As a wealthy resident, Marcus reveled in the city's cultural, economic, and social offerings. He indulged in the luxuries afforded by his position, enjoying the finest wines, lavish banquets, and extravagant entertainment that were emblematic of the Roman aristocracy. Beyond the borders of Pompeii, Marcus' connections reached deep into the heart of the Roman Empire. His family's influential network and political alliances allowed him to navigate the complex web of Roman society with ease. He was well versed in the intricacies of politics, commerce, and diplomacy, leveraging his connections to further his own interests and secure his family's standing. However, behind the facade of wealth and prestige, Marcus harbored a deeper, more complex inner world. Beneath his stoic exterior, he wrestled with the weight of societal expectations and the ever-present struggle to reconcile his personal desires with the rigid structure of Roman society. The constraints placed upon him by his position often left him yearning for a sense of freedom and authenticity. In the midst of Pompey's bustling streets and opulent villas, Marcus found solace in the artistic and intellectual pursuits that defined his era. He immersed himself in the works of renowned philosophers and poets, seeking a deeper understanding of the human condition and his place within it. Marcus, like many of his contemporaries, grappled with questions of purpose, identity, and the pursuit of happiness. In his private moments, Marcus allowed himself to explore the realms of passion and desire that lay beyond the societal boundaries imposed upon him. He sought connections and intimate relationships that transcended the superficial expectations of his social status. These clandestine encounters, while fulfilling his emotional needs, also brought about a sense of vulnerability and guilt, as he navigated the delicate balance between his public image and his private longings. The excavation of Pompey's ruins and the discovery of Marcus Valerius offered a unique opportunity to delve into the complexities of his personal life. The remnants of his luxurious villa revealed glimpses of his private spaces, adorned with artwork, writings, and personal artifacts that hinted at his hidden desires and inner struggles. These fragments of his existence painted a picture of a man torn between societal expectations and his own quest for authenticity. Marcus Valerius, once an enigmatic figure frozen in time, now stood as a symbol of the paradoxes that defined Roman society. 
His life and experiences became a microcosm of the larger tensions between tradition and individuality, privilege and longing, power and vulnerability. Through the lens of Marcus' story, researchers and historians gained a deeper understanding of the complexities of life in Pompeii and the multifaceted nature of those who inhabited the ancient city. The excavation and exploration of Marcus Valerius' life would continue to unravel the intricacies of Pompeii's social fabric, shedding light on the inner lives of its privileged residents and challenging the conventional narratives of Roman society. The story of Marcus Valerius, a man of wealth and influence, would serve as a reminder that even the most privileged individuals are not immune to the complexities and struggles inherent in the human experience. In the shadow of Marcus Valerius' privileged existence, another figure emerges from the ruins of Pompeii a man named Lucius, a slave who was entwined in the life of his master, Marcus. Their starkly contrasting experiences illuminate the deep divide between the enslaved and the free in ancient Roman society. Lucius, like many others in Pompeii, was born into a world where his fate was predetermined. As a slave, he existed to serve the needs and desires of his master, Marcus Valerius. From a young age, Lucius was thrust into a life of servitude, stripped of his freedom and reduced to a mere possession in the eyes of Roman law. While Marcus reveled in the luxuries and privileges of his social standing, Lucius navigated a world of perpetual subjugation and hardship. His days were filled with backbreaking labor, attending to the whims of his master and ensuring his every need was met. Lucius toiled in the shadows, unseen and unheard his life shaped by the whims and desires of those who held power over him. The contrast between the lives of Marcus and Lucius was stark and unforgiving. Marcus enjoyed the finest delicacies, donned luxurious garments, and relished in the cultural and intellectual pursuits of Pompeii. Lucius, on the other hand, experienced a life of deprivation, enduring meager rations, threadbare clothing, and the constant threat of punishment at the hands of his master. However, within the boundaries of their divergent existences, there were moments of connection and complexity. Lucius, in his role as a trusted companion to Marcus, often found himself privy to the inner workings of his master's life. He bore witness to Marcus' struggles, his desires, and his vulnerabilities, forging a unique bond that transcended the inherent power dynamics of their relationship. Lucius' journey was not confined solely to the confines of servitude. Like many enslaved individuals in Pompeii, he possessed a resilience and agency that defied his circumstances. In the darkest corners of the city, hidden from the watchful eyes of their masters, slaves formed their own communities, sharing stories, traditions, and dreams of a different life. Lucius found solace and companionship within these hidden spaces, nurturing a sense of identity and belonging that existed independent of his role as a slave. The excavation of Pompeii's ruins brought Lucius' story to the forefront, offering glimpses into his lived experiences. The remnants of the city unveiled artifacts that spoke to the resilience and ingenuity of the enslaved population. Personal items and fragments of everyday life painted a picture of a man who, despite the oppressive systems that bound him, yearned for freedom and the opportunity to define his own destiny. Lucius' journey serves as a reminder of the inherent humanity that perseveres even in the face of extreme adversity. His story challenges the notion of a monolithic enslaved experience, highlighting the individual agency and resilience that existed within the enslaved community. Through his eyes, we gain a deeper understanding of the complexities of ancient Roman society, where power and privilege were inextricably linked to the suffering and exploitation of others.
In uncovering the life of Lucius, historians and researchers are granted a glimpse into the untold stories of those whose voices were silenced by the passage of time. His journey becomes a testament to the strength of the human spirit, an enduring legacy that demands recognition and remembrance. The city of Pompeii, frozen in time by the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius, offers us a unique window into the daily life of its inhabitants. As we delve deeper into the ruins, we begin to uncover the vibrant tapestry of Pompeian society the bustling streets, the architectural marvels, and the rich cultural fabric that define this ancient Roman city. Pompeii, a thriving hub of commerce and culture, boasted an infrastructure that reflected the grandeur of the Roman Empire. Its roads, meticulously crafted from large stone blocks, crisscrossed the city, connecting its neighborhoods and facilitating the movement of goods and people. The city's grid-like layout, with its distinct blocks and intersecting streets, lent a sense of order and efficiency to everyday life. The architecture of Pompeii's buildings spoke to the city's opulence and sophistication. Elegant villas, adorned with colorful frescoes and intricate mosaics, dotted the landscape, serving as the lavish residences of the city's wealthy elite. These grand structures, complete with spacious courtyards and private gardens, stood as testaments to the wealth and social status of their owners. But Pompeii was more than just a playground for the affluent. Its streets bustled with activity as merchants set up stalls, offering a plethora of goods to the city's inhabitants. Markets teemed with life, filled with the aromas of fresh produce, spices, and exotic wares. The vibrant commerce of Pompeii extended beyond its borders, as the city served as a gateway for goods from distant lands, further enriching its cultural tapestry. One cannot discuss Pompeian life without acknowledging the importance of art and culture. The walls of Pompeii's buildings came alive with stunning frescoes, depicting scenes of mythological tales, lush landscapes, and everyday life. These intricate artworks not only adorned the homes of the wealthy but also adorned public spaces, serving as a testament to the city's artistic prowess and refined taste. The arts were not limited to visual representations alone. Pompeii was a city of theater and entertainment. Its amphitheater, an architectural marvel, hosted gladiatorial contests and theatrical performances that captivated audiences. The echoes of applause and the laughter of spectators reverberated through the stone walls, creating an atmosphere of shared enjoyment and communal spirit. Religion played a significant role in the lives of Pompeii's inhabitants. Temples dedicated to various deities dotted the cityscape, offering a place for worship and reflection. The ancient Romans believed in the power of their gods and sought divine intervention in all aspects of life. Rituals and ceremonies, marked by processions and offerings, were conducted to honor the gods and ensure their favor. The communal spirit of Pompeii extended beyond religious practices. The city boasted magnificent public amenities, including elaborate bath complexes. These communal bathing spaces not only provided a respite from the rigors of daily life but also served as social hubs, where people gathered to engage in conversation, relax, and indulge in the therapeutic benefits of the baths. Pompeii's way of life was a harmonious blend of practicality and aesthetics. The city's aqueduct system ensured a steady supply of clean water, reaching even the homes of the wealthy. Lavish villas featured intricate plumbing systems, bringing the luxury of running water to the privileged few. As we unearth the remnants of Pompeii, we are granted a precious glimpse into the lives of its residents. 
The city's infrastructure, architectural marvels, and artistic expressions paint a vivid picture of a society that reveled in the pursuit of beauty, leisure, and community. Through the lens of Pompeian life, we come to understand the intricate web of social, cultural, and religious practices that shape the daily existence of its inhabitants. The rediscovery of Pompeii in the 18th century marked a pivotal moment in our understanding of ancient civilizations and their cultural heritage. The subsequent excavations and ongoing efforts to uncover the secrets buried beneath layers of ash have not only unveiled the magnificence of this ancient Roman city but have also provided invaluable insights into the daily lives, art, and architecture of the people who once thrived within its walls. In 1738, when workmen began constructing a new palace for the King of Naples, they stumbled upon the forgotten city of Pompeii. The accidental discovery sparked a newfound curiosity and fascination with the ancient world. The ruins that lay beneath the surface were a time capsule, preserving the splendor and tragedy of a bygone era. It was not until a decade later, in 1748, that the Spanish military engineer Roque Joaquin de Alcubierre commenced the systematic excavation of Pompeii, unearthing a wealth of historical treasures. The painstaking process of excavation, which continues to this day, has revealed a city frozen in time. The preserved buildings, intricate frescoes, and everyday objects offer a vivid snapshot of life in ancient Rome. The meticulous documentation and preservation of these artifacts have allowed archaeologists and historians to piece together the puzzle of Pompeii's past. The excavation of Pompeii has not been without its challenges. The delicate nature of the artifacts and the constant threat of decay and deterioration have required innovative preservation techniques. Plaster casts made from the voids left by decomposed bodies have provided hauntingly accurate imprints of the victims, allowing us to glimpse the human tragedy that unfolded during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The ongoing efforts to uncover Pompeii's secrets have yielded a wealth of knowledge about ancient Roman society. The city's architecture, influenced by Greek and Roman styles, showcases the advanced engineering and urban planning of the time. The grand villas with their sprawling courtyards and opulent frescoes speak to the wealth and sophistication of Pompeian elites. The intricate mosaics and vibrant wall paintings that adorn the homes of Pompeii reveal the artistic prowess and aesthetic sensibilities of the era. Pompeii has provided a unique lens through which we can understand the social, economic, and cultural dynamics of ancient Rome. The artifacts recovered from the site have given us insights into the daily lives of the people who lived there. From the remnants of household items to the graffiti scrawled on the walls, Pompeii offers a mosaic of individual stories that collectively paint a broader picture of Roman life. The impact of Pompeii's discovery and excavation extends far beyond the realm of archaeology. The artistic and architectural elements uncovered in the city have had a lasting influence on subsequent generations. The intricate frescoes, with their vibrant colors and intricate detailing, have inspired artists and designers throughout the centuries. The architectural techniques employed in Pompeii have been studied and replicated, shaping the field of architecture and urban planning. Moreover, Pompeii has played a crucial role in our understanding of ancient Roman society. The city's well-preserved artifacts have provided tangible evidence that challenges and complements the accounts found in historical texts. Pompeii has allowed us to bridge the gap between written records and physical evidence, offering a more nuanced understanding of ancient Rome and its people. The legacy of Pompeii extends beyond its historical and artistic significance. 
The site has become a symbol of the fragility of human existence and a reminder of the catastrophic power of natural disasters. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius and the preservation of Pompeii serve as a cautionary tale, urging us to acknowledge the forces of nature and to appreciate the fleeting nature of human existence. As we reflect on the tragedy that befell Pompeii and the two victims discovered within its ruins, we are reminded of the enduring lessons they teach us about the fragility of life and the unpredictable forces of nature. The preserved remains of these individuals serve as poignant reminders of the profound impact that natural disasters can have on human existence, while also prompting us to contemplate the scientific understanding of volcanic eruptions and the ongoing threat posed by Mount Vesuvius. Moreover, the significance of Pompeii as a cultural and historical site underscores the importance of preserving our collective history and honoring the victims who perished in the eruption. The two victims discovered in the remains of Pompeii offer a haunting glimpse into the final moments of their lives. Through the meticulous preservation and excavation techniques employed by researchers, their stories emerge from the ashes of history. They represent the countless lives tragically cut short on that fateful day in 79 CE, and their plight serves as a universal reminder of the fleeting nature of human existence. Their presence in Pompeii's narrative compels us to reflect on our own mortality and to appreciate the preciousness of every moment we have. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius that engulfed Pompeii was a catastrophic event with far-reaching consequences. It serves as a stark reminder of the immense power and unpredictability of volcanic activity. The scientific understanding of volcanic eruptions has evolved significantly since the time of Pompeii's destruction, enabling us to better comprehend the mechanisms behind such events. We now know that volcanic eruptions result from the release of immense pressure built up within the Earth's crust, leading to the expulsion of molten rock, ash, and gases. Pyroclastic flows, like the one that claimed the lives of the Pompeii victims, are among the deadliest aspects of volcanic eruptions, surging down the slopes of the volcano at tremendous speeds, leaving destruction in their wake. Despite our advancements in scientific knowledge, the threat posed by Mount Vesuvius remains ever-present. Located just miles away from heavily populated areas, the volcano continues to be monitored closely to detect any signs of volcanic activity. Authorities have implemented comprehensive evacuation plans and measures to ensure the safety of nearby communities. The tragic fate of Pompeii serves as a stark reminder of the potential devastation that could be unleashed should Mount Vesuvius erupt again. It compels us to remain vigilant and prepared, recognizing that the forces of nature are beyond our control and that our efforts must be focused on mitigating the impact of such disasters. The preservation and ongoing excavation of Pompeii hold immense significance beyond their historical and scientific value. The site serves as a vivid testimony to the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of preserving our shared cultural heritage. It is a tangible link to the past, enabling us to connect with the lives and stories of those who came before us. As we wander through the preserved streets of Pompeii, we are transported to a bygone era, where we can imagine the hustle and bustle of daily life, the conversations that took place, and the dreams and aspirations of its inhabitants. Honoring the victims of Pompeii is of paramount importance. Their remains serve as reminders of the human toll exacted by natural disasters, prompting us to empathize with their suffering and pay homage to their memory. Through their stories, we find a collective responsibility to preserve the historical legacy of Pompeii and other ancient sites, ensuring that future generations can continue to learn from the past. 
The meticulous preservation efforts, ongoing research, and educational initiatives surrounding Pompeii create a platform for dialogue and reflection, allowing us to grapple with the broader themes of human vulnerability, resilience, and the impermanence of our existence. Pompeii stands not only as a testament to the victims of the eruption but also as a symbol of our enduring fascination with the past. It has inspired countless artists, writers, and scholars, shaping our understanding of ancient Rome and its cultural contributions. Pompeii's legacy permeates various fields, from archaeology and history to art and architecture, serving as a wellspring of inspiration and knowledge. By preserving and exploring this extraordinary site, we celebrate the triumphs and tragedies of human civilization, and we recognize the profound importance of our collective heritage.